Good morning. Um, happy to be with you today. Today, I would like to make a big announcement, and uh, at least it's a big announcement for me. And that announcement is that after a lot of work behind the scenes, quietly, I've not really discussed it with anyone. It's been a personal pro project of mine. I am very happy and proud to say that uh, as of yesterday, uh, I have authored a book and that that book has now been published. It is available right now on Amazon.com. If you have Amazon Prime, it could be at your doorstep tomorrow. It'll be uh, hopefully widely available at, throughout various bookstores and booksellers soon, but right now Amazon would be the place to go. The book is titled The Founding of Jiu-Jitsu and Judo in America. Uh, this is the book. So although my, my copy as of right now has this strip across it, which is a proof copy so that you don't resell it, yours will not have that. In any case, this is, this is the book. It's about 315 pages or so. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is, this is the book. So the book, um, again, has been something I've been working on for a very long time, in some sense a very long time, extensively over the last six, seven months. Uh, but uh, as most of you know, I'm, I'm an avid martial arts uh, uh, researcher, personal research that I'm doing all the time. But in any case, the book is now published. Uh, I've tried to write the book in a way that would satisfy the would satisfy people like me, the real history nerd. Um, I've tried to write it in a way that would satisfy that person. But I've also tried to write it in a way that is informative, educational, but also readable um, and not drudgery for those who are not super into history. So I've tried to write it in a way that is readable enjoyable while still educational. And I hope that you'll find that that to be the case. Uh, and I hope for your support with this project. Um, the book is broken into two major sections. The first section of the book is an extensive history retelling of the, the history of jujitsu from Japan to the United States of America, beginning with the very first encounter uh, or the very first known encounter of an American, of an American, and the art of jujitsu, and then we move forward in time until just a little bit past, uh, we don't stop in 1964, but we go a little bit past that, and the reason we go a little bit past is because 1964 is the year that the sport of judo was introduced into the Olympics, and so we take it from that very first encounter between an American and the art of jujitsu, we move forward a little bit more than a century. Uh, to the point where then the art of judo is introduced into the Olympics. And uh, in, in between, of course, we cover important events, um, uh, important historical figures in the United, that were in the United States, both Japanese and American pioneers. We discuss you know, everything from uh, Teddy Roosevelt and the jiu-jitsu dojo he had in the White House to uh, the, the, the important role that World War II played in the the permanent trajectory of the art of jujitsu, the introduction of the art into the Olympics and the impact of that. Um, so uh, it's pretty extensive, but again, I hope a very readable text for the average person and satisfying to the person who's a little bit more um, well-versed in the history of, uh, of, the, of the arts and particularly how those arts developed in the United States. The second half of the book is a series of five extended interviews four of them conducted by myself and one of them conducted by my contributor, Mr. Abdul Rashid, who is an, uh, a prolific martial arts author. Uh, and in any case, uh, we, could have, we could have selected many individuals, but at some point we had to kind of hammer it down. And those uh, individuals are Mr. Jim Bregman. Mr. Sensei Bregman is, a, um, is uh, not only an Olympic bronze medalist in the art of judo, but he was a member of the very first American judo team and the very first Olympics to have judo in it, the 1964 American judo team where he won a bronze medal in his weight category. And there were only four weight categories back then. And so very happy to have him. We also interviewed uh, Master Ernie Cates. Master Cates is not only a, one of the teachers to my teacher, um, but he is uh, just an, a legend uh, in jujitsu and judo in America. He was uh, Okinawan uh, judo champion, United States Marine Corps champion for five years uh, plus, actually, uh, in a row, and just um, a real pleasure to talk to. He is nearly 90 years old, 
and afforded me a, a long interview. Uh, we talked many, many times, and it was a real pleasure speaking with him, and he's still on the mats training. A real inspiration is Sensei Cates. I talked to my martial arts big brother, Master Robert Robert, um, on the role of uh, our sensei, Master Paul Arell, American martial arts pioneer, uh, and his contributions to uh, the development of uh, jujitsu uh, in America and his unique uh, approach to the art of jujitsu. We talked to uh, Master George Kirby, Sensei Kirby is uh, the head of Budushin Jiu-Jitsu and a prolific martial arts author. His early books were, were really uh, important for many, many uh, American uh, Jiu-Jitsuka. And so I talked to him, very gracious, and, and was, uh, has been practicing martial arts for about 50 years himself, and a uh, uh, great interview. We also talked to Professor Robert Hudson, who is a ninth dan in Danzin Ryu Jiu-Jitsu, and he is a, a, you know, a senior representative of the art of uh, Danzen Ru and, and uh, American pioneer, Japanese American pioneer Henry Okazaki. So in any case, uh, the book has these two major sections, and I hope that you'll find the totality of the work um, informative and enjoyable to read, and I would love your support. The way that you can support this project, uh, if you would like to support it, is one, of course, order the book and read it. Uh, but two, uh, if you do order the book and read it, please, I implore you, please do leave an Amazon review if you enjoy the book. That will go an immensely long way in getting the book uh, to more booksellers and also um, uh, ranking it higher in, in, in the algorithm that Amazon works with. So the more positivity we have on Amazon, the wider audience the book can reach and the more that some of these pioneers can be recognized and the, the story of, the unique story of jujitsu and judo in the United States of America can be told and preserved. Again, this is the book, The, <clears throat> the Founding of Jujitsu and Judo in America. And um, yeah, so this is, this, is, this is the book. This is it right here. And so I hope that uh, you'll enjoy it, and I can appreciate your support. Again, it is available on Amazon right now. You can search for The Founding of Jiu-Jitsu and Judo in America. You can search my name. Um, I have an author page now on Amazon, and it is out there. It has been written, it is published, and uh, look for it on Amazon or hopefully here soon and, and booksellers, but right now, Amazon would be the place to go. Please order it, and please do uh, support the project and the book with a positive Amazon review that would go a very long way. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that it uh, is beneficial in your martial arts uh, education. Thank you so much.